tonight. Welcome to uh, Hills of Glee. And um, as always, we're going to start with some shoe cam. Oh, well, why the granny always got to go first? <laughs> I spiced it up, though. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I just got these soft leather. Mm. Oh, those like are them. sexy. I like them. I like yeah. them. I like them. They match perfect, too. They're they sexy. Uh -huh. Thanks. Oh, okay. What you doing, so, uh, I ain't too spicy. I just got some H&M. You know, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Love, me, love that store. $25. Yeah. Like, you know, I love that rack it's when you first come in. It's not what you got on. It's who's wearing it. It's really. who wins. How you win, man? Yeah. Man. Yeah. Nah. Listen, I Listen. just buy whatever. Okay. And um, I just bought me some new Converse. So, nothing special. Mm. Classic, baby. Classic. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Comfort. All right, y'all. So, we're going to jump right into what's going on this weekend. There's a lot of big things going on this weekend, including the Easter holiday. So, you know, we keep it real mm -hmm. fun. <laughs> Football 360. What are y'all mm. doing for Easter, Harlem? Uh, probably hitting the gym or sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really celebrate Easter, you know. Okay, okay. So just chilling. Yeah. Don't have an Easter speech. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, normally the holidays is all about family for me and my family. Um, so it's a tad bit different. Uh, yeah, family is, we struggle with the holidays right now due to certain circumstances. Um, however, I'll be on the field. On Easter. Okay. We ain't getting no holiday break this season. Oh, yeah, that is. That's true. That's true. It's no break. So, hey, mm -hmm. that's where I'll be, hopefully, if mm -hmm. this kink get out my leg. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. I don't have any plans either. I mean, this is just a different year. I didn't even I didn't even remember Easter was coming up. So fast. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Will you be there Sunday on the field? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. I'm going to definitely be there. Okay. I'm going to be there, be there. But I do have to tell you guys something. I won't be on the podcast anymore. And I know that's a shock. Um, but it's April Fool's butter. I just had yeah. to April Fool's I, just, I got her earlier today, <laughs> and I was like, let me stop for Harlem Cuss Me Out for real. <laughs> you didn't get me, though. You didn't get me. I out. thought I did, because I was like, oh, yeah. she could have cussed me out. I'm over here with the stop. stank face. Nah, <laughs> I, was, I was waiting on it. Nah. Girl. Wait, did you buy it? No! <laughs> yeah. Girl, get your yeah, life. Yeah. <laughs> my, my fiance woke up with the shenanigans too. I'm like, okay. And see, I got got today too because I was on the phone and he's like, oh, the neighbor's house is on fire. I'm like, what? what? FaceTime <laughs> me. What's going on? Oh, uh, no, I was April Fool's. I was like, okay. How, how did you get got today, butter? I don't get got because it's my alter ego. ego's birthday. So her name is Essence Unique Harris. Okay. Um, I've had an alter ego since at least 20 years, and it's been the same name uh, for the longest, yeah. So, oh, she is you. Yeah, she is me, <laughs> and me is her. <laughs> okay. I had a birthday today. Oh. What's up, Rochelle? <laughs> Moving on. Dwayne. Moving on. <laughs> All right, so we know that April is the month that kicks off wedding season. It's so much love in the air. And y'all know that all month long, every week, we're going to have a love question. You know, wedding season is so exciting. All right, so this week the question is, is it important to get along with your spouse's family and friends prior to marrying them? Or is that a deal breaker? Get a, getting along with the family kind of, it, it makes things a little easy however that ain't who i married mm. that ain't who in my house that ain't who helping pay these bills that's not where my happiness is my happiness is with the person that i married okay Harlan, what you think 100 percent agree with butter i do not have to get along with the family oh, wow. or friends no it's really? not a deal breaker at all absolutely not okay. absolutely not why would i let the family stop me from got it married with, with her yeah no, I'm not marrying them. Y'all weren't with me in our intimacy when we realized we were in love. They mm -hmm. were not there. Right. I'm with Butter 100. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so I would want really, really, really bad to get along. I wouldn't do anything extra, and I wouldn't do anything out of the way. Mm -hmm. I would just be myself, and I would hope that it would be a good thing because, you know, you, you just, you know, like to do events and want to include everybody, be inclusive, and it would make it tougher if I had to feel like I'm in a battle every day. You know what I mean? 
But, mm. okay, so that's our love question, y'all, for today. Um, feel free to send us your DMs, your comments, and we'll, 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 you know, we'll post your responses. If you agree with me, if you agree with them, it should be interesting. Okay. Mm. Man. All right, so we are going to jump into giving some shouts out to, you know, this week was the kickoff for 8 Coed, and uh, yeah, at first, you know, went there, and um, I was shocked like a lot of people, you pulled up to the booth, and you seen people in the car in front of you pulling out money. I said, oh my gosh, we got to pay to park? Oh, wow. Two dollars. I don't care what you say. It's still my two dollars, and I don't want to pay. No, but, um, and then I was like, different? It was different because we've never paid anywhere. Where, what field have we ever paid to park at? Not even in Nationals when you're playing. See, but yeah, I, I never pay. Oh, you right. You are absolutely right. right. Yeah. Because we were alternating who paid on what day. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever was in the car. But listen, right. James definitely, right. I was I was like, I'm going to call up James and be like, da -da. but you know what? Check that website. He did post it. So reading is so fundamental. It was right there. It was like, hey, James, you know, you did post it. But the field is really nice. Um, It's like a carpet tennis court kind of field. Mm -hmm. And um, we just kind of shout out the teams, the eight teams, um, the teams for the eights that are right here. Mm -hmm. So we can go ahead and shout them out. So Okay, so we got the EA Strays. Woo -woo. Woo -woo. We got the Assassins. Okay. Um, Bo is on the Assassin, the Bo Show. <laughs> oh, for <laughs> I real? Yeah. All right. Oh, we, got, we got MIS. <laughs> Justin Nums. Okay. We got Dynasty. Hey, Dynasty. Okay. Uh, they actually did really good, too, because they actually defeated uh, MIS and Blue um, Iguanas. Okay. Well, they are the champions now, so... Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty good. Okay. So, yeah, so we got Dynasty, Blue Iguanas, Justice League, Primetime, and Undertaker. So. All right. Yeah, yeah, so super excited about that. Scary. Primetime was like 30 people deep. I talked to Sheree. She said she's probably going to have to create two teams. Because mm. I was like, y'all are really deep out here. Undertaker, super proud to see what they do. Because, remember, they went to Nashville and they won. Mm -hmm. They won the mm -hmm. seven men in Nashville with four girls on their squad, and there was about 14 teams that they competed with from around the nation. Wow. Good stuff. Sick. Real sick. Remember we talked about that on the yeah. show? Yeah. Um, yeah. EA Strays did really well. I hope they're, um, they might need some more girls pretty soon because one of their girls got really hurt, so I hope she's okay. Mm -hmm. um, and Football ain't built for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, all right, so that shouts out to y'all with eight co-ed. That's every Tuesday night, Silverback Park. Bring your $2 to the park. Bring your $2. $2. We need them $2. All right, so, but we're going to start with you. Shout out five on your live. Girl, I ain't got nobody on this line, child. Don't tell, don't nobody like me. They don't like me. That's okay. <laughs> Who's five on your house? Who five uh, people on your life? <laughs> so I got Lou Dunbar, who is my Globe Charter coach. Hey. Hey. Shout out, coach. Hey. I got TJ on my live. I got Rashida from uh, Bama on my live. What's up, Rashida? Hey, Rashida. Uh, Rochelle. Shout out, Rochelle. Oh, JJ. She's, uh, yeah, I, I, I got a show. JJ got to get all the love, man. <laughs> she makes it very Got a few cousins on the live, you know, a couple people. So, yeah, shout out everybody on my live. Appreciate y'all. Okay, cool. Um, I'll go with the first five people, so don't judge me. I'm going with the first five. So, there's a... Black 6060, there's the Rebels flag, there's Carolina United flag over in uh, Coach Brent, um, One Dove, Chloe, um, Michelle, and that's five, y'all. So, all right. Good so that's five good. on our live. Good job. Whoop, whoop. All right, now let's get into the newest segment. Season has started. And if you're watching Wild Now, she'll be like, talk your ish, boo, talk your ish, boo. And then he goes, I would if you would just calm down and let me talk. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so yeah. we're about to talk. I jumped about all these games that mm. took place this past Sunday, y'all. And, um, yeah, remember, we are real fun and football 360. So here we go. Let's jump into it. Let's jump right on into jump it. In, mm. in, oh, in, oh, oh, oh. Let's talk about these games and scores. So the first game, uh, Cole Red versus the Tigers. The score was 0 to 33. <laughs> Any thoughts on that game? It was 0 33. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I right, ain't so, really much to say. I mean, I just, yeah, they, they definitely ran it up. Yeah. They did. All right, so the next game was Stallions versus DOA. It was wait, 13 wait, to 6. Wait. Tell us about that game, <laughs> Um, They are a very young team. I'll say that. Uh, they are very young. Uh, Mo is super de-duper fast. Um, mm -hmm. So she's a, definitely a mobile quarterback, a key player. Uh, kiddo. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, that's their running back. Again, super fast, agile, 
Definitely. She's already slim, so she can get slimmer. Uh, so it's hard to grab her flag. Hey, they're, they're a team to look out for. I mean, it, I'm not going to say it was just easy peasy, but it was a great, great game. Okay. Great all right. game. Awesome. All right, next game was Bama versus Cold Red. Score was 34-0. Any thoughts on that game? Bama play who? Cold Red. They played two top teams. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. I was going to say that. I was like, my two, red is for cold red. Two top teams. <laughs> for real, for real. Because, I mean, it's, yeah, it's just one. Tough. Yeah, like, do you, do you, you know, they're a new, they're not a new team, but they're a team that. They lose players and they have to piece it they back together. They rebuild constantly, yeah. Yeah, so it's. But that's a question, though, for you guys. Like, seriously, and I, like, I commend cold red. Y'all are amazing to have stood out there taking those, those hits, those blows play after play, and, and you know what I'm saying, and not and walk off the field, down. and not be like, you know what, mercy rule, we done, we out. Y'all didn't yeah. do that. There's something to say about that. There's so much pride in that, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, absolutely. But should teams keep running scores up like that on teams like that? Like, should you keep running the score up like that? Or, and I get it at the end, there's a point differential, but is it really worth it, or is it more morals? Like, all right, this isn't making us better. Is, I mean, is Coach Grant just coaching by himself? Probably. He recruits by himself. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe he need a little help. Maybe he needs, you know, someone who can strategize with him and, you know, kind of build on some fundamentals that will help these girls uh, be more competitive. Because wow. some of them, the speed, they got a lot of speed over there, to be honest. It's just... Okay. Yeah. Mm. He, brings okay. The, he brings them to the league. Okay. All right. Well, um, Caldwell, we can't wait to see what you guys do. And honestly, I can't wait to see. I think definitely throughout the season, one of our games of the week is definitely going to be like when Code Red plays like NCB B, yeah, or mm -hmm. when they Beginning play team. like an X Factor. Right. Yeah, I can't wait to see those games. Um, Next game was Stallions versus Tigers, 13-7. I heard some stuff about that game, brother. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> Baby. Hey, we was up. I mean, I think our energy was up. We was gelling. Everything... All the pieces were there. Y'all were up? What was the score? Um, no, meaning that we were on a drive. We was oh, getting energy up. Yeah, mm -hmm. energy was up. Um, definitely, I'm going to just be straight up honest. I expected a little more from the Tigers. I'm just being mm -hmm. real. Not to, not to downgrade us. However, just in history, they've just been better looking. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, and we was... We gave them a little something. Now, don't get me mm. wrong. They came out and scored very quick. That, that, that quick, it was it was quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we came back, we regrouped, and, and we was on a move. Yeah. And just... Y'all had an opportunity to actually, what, beat them or tie it? Tie. We tie had it? Oh, to tie man. Right at the goal line. A couple times she right dropped it. Right at the goal it. line. Yeah, that was a good game. And I just knew our new rookie... I knew man. our rookie had scored. She was just that close when she caught the ball. <sighs> And I was just like, yeah. damn! But, <laughs> hey, hey. So we, the rookie uh, had the pressure of dropping the ball for no, the No, she win? caught it. Okay. No, no, no. It. She caught it on, like, what was on the one, two, the other line? Mm -hmm. No, it was... And so, um, mm -hmm. birthday girl got out there. She was hot. She scored the two touchdowns in our first game against DOA. And she came across that back, and she just... Uh, uh, it be it be centimeters sometimes, yeah. and you know, and she she missed that that pass, and I mean, but she dove for it, and it just it just didn't connect, man. But it was great. It was a good game, it was a great though. Great effort, a good game. definitely a great wow. effort. Shout Even out to Fresh, hey Fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, Even Dwayne watched it, said it was a really oh, yeah. good game. Oh yeah, it we was. had a lot of guys out there like rooting. They was they <laughs> they was amped for it. So okay. hey. I like it. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about is Arsenal versus Bama. That score was 6-0. Bama. Mm, man, it was a great game as well. Game. I watched a little bit of that game. Hey. I like Coach Craig. He's, um, yeah, newly, newly engaged, newly <laughs> married Coach Craig. Mm -hmm. I believe so the cute. center was not holding her block on Bama because a lot of times uh, they were able to rush through and sack like several times back to back on that quarterback. So Oh wow. Oh yes. Corner uh, usually is very protected. Yes. Oh no no no. No no mm. no. They, they walked in I know twice back to back. Rock got one and uh Domo got one. Back to back sacks. So uh I don't know what was going on right there, but that could have been it could have went both ways. 
But Arsenal has a really good um, defensive line, and Arsenal, you know, they've been out. They've been tuning up, yeah. ramping up. Yeah. Like, they were ready. Absolutely. They was out a whole year. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I, and this is only the first game, so by the end of the season, midseason, be... if they they hold in Bama to only one touchdown, no extra point. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And all they got to do is just kind of tweak their offense so they can score. That's a tie game. Absolutely. Or you can make their extra point, and now they're beating Absolutely. Bama. That's, now, that's something to see. I can't wait to see that. All right, next thing we're talking about is APOC versus DOA, 15-7. to 7. APOC, tell us about that, Harley. No, it was a good game. We came out, first play, uh, good night. Touchdown. That's uh, when I walked it in. It was too easy. Yeah, baby. and then they kind of, you know what? In. I got to commend DOA, though, because even, you know, sometimes when you start the game off and somebody scores that quick, you know, your morale can go down yeah, as a team. Down. But they had certain players that, you know, kept the morale up, kept them engaged, kept them focused, and, and they fought back. Like, Mo is a quick quarterback. What? Ooh, she's quick. She's young, though. She's like <laughs> yeah, she's like, you know, sometimes we're like, man, I'm like 20 years man. older than some of these players out here, man. Like, it's crazy. But, Absolutely. I mean, they got a lot of speed. Um, They fought a good fight. You know, I know you were saying, uh, good. Yeah, yeah I did. You, I heard say what you heard. Struggle you heard versus A-Pac. Struggle. I was like, oh, DOA. I was like, A-Pac? I was on the phone like, A-Pac struggled against DOA? Wow. That's what I heard. But, like, that's crazy. Because the uh, first half, we didn't even have Lindsay. And the first half, I didn't even play defense. So we don't look to beat people 30 something. Like, it does nothing right. for us. Like, if we're that. up, we know we're going to beat them. We work on us. Because mm. the ultimate goal, we're trying to be at our best at the playoffs. Right. Like, yeah. we, like, I may not even play this Sunday against Cold Red. It does nothing for me. You get what I'm saying? Like, let's get opportunity for other players to get in there and get that experience, get that repetition. Like, that's yeah. what we do. So we beat Cold Red 15-0. People going to be like, oh, APOC, they, they slack it. No, APOC is working on APOC. We're working on things that we need to work on, not the things that we know we can score on. You right. get what I'm saying? Absolutely. So I'm getting twisted. We didn't show up against them, but shout out to DOA. Yeah, yeah. I was excited though, because yeah. I know that they're a really good team this year. I remember we, when we talked to X Factor, and I was like, oh my gosh, let me play this But then mm-hmm. I had a chance to talk to Coach Matt on Tuesday night and he was like we really have a good system um, regardless of the people that we lost or gained and as we all know in this football world people will trade switch teams it, it, that's just right. a part of the game right. mm-hmm. um, but he you know he's very confident in his team and I know that they were coming into the season with a good season so when I heard like APOC started I was like oh my gosh these teams are getting way better type of thing which I know they are so <laughs> I was like, for real, that was my first thought. Because the teams are getting better. When you look at the scores and the... Mm-hmm. It was like, whoa, these teams are getting better. Mm-hmm. But um, cool. Thanks for clearing that up. Yeah, um, can't well. wait to see the rematch and all that good stuff. But Arsenal <laughs> versus X Factor. That How was 12-6. Was to six. Okay. It's pretty mm-hmm. close. That was pretty close, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, right. it was. And for X Factor, they're, just, they're new. And for them mm-hmm. to keep up with a team like Arsenal, that's mm-hmm. pretty good that they even scored on Arsenal. Right. But they got some... Veteran players. They do. X-Factor. They do. X Factor yeah, does yeah. have some veteran players. They do. They do. Yeah. <laughs> they do, they do, they do. But for them to gel, they're a new team. And, you yeah. know, you can have a team full of athletes. We've seen this before where a team is loaded with athletes. But when you have too many Chiefs and not, not enough, enough Indians, Indians right. you ain't got no good team. You absolutely right. You ain't got girl. Yeah. They were talking like they were playing good. So I knew, I was like, they were, they were playing really well. Good. Yeah. Good. So, good. Okay. Good our job, producer Dwayne gave y'all mad props for the ladies that came here last week on the show. He said y'all played extremely well for y'all that couldn't hear him. They really well. All right, cool. Good. The next game we're going into is the Lady Warriors versus the Storm. This is a rematch I was excited to see. Mm. Rematch, because mm-hmm. remember... Last year, yeah, it went into overtime. But remember last year, everybody expected the Warriors to win, to win. the yeah. championship. Mm-hmm. And then you get to the Storm. game, and Storm's got all the medals in their amp, and they're like, we yeah. won. Yep. Yeah. So I talked to Coach Reggie. He definitely said the Lady Warriors were definitely ready for that smoke. And mm. so the game came down to overtime. It was a great game. Um, Please, yeah. Two interceptions. Oh. Um, yeah. Just stop. That means defense was coding. Yeah, right. It was a good game. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh, yeah, wow. so congratulations to Sabrina McCoy and Joy Curtin. They are rookies, and they were the ones that actually got the interceptions. Wow. Wow. So these rookies okay. are coming out. They, they, they out here, y'all. They out here swinging. So. We see. We see. Yeah, so good for y'all. All right, next game, APOC versus NTB, 0 to 26. Mm. Yeah. Um... Yeah. Welcome to the league. Yeah, I mean, you know what's crazy, though? <laughs> so against NTB, I, was, I had to be quarterback because uh, okay. Ori had, you know, something she had to do with her family. So it was kind of like spur of the moment, like, Harlem, you're going to be quarterback. I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> you know, uh, so, yeah, scored four touchdowns. I think they just, they looked a little lost. Like, you know, uh -huh. they didn't have a head coach out there. Okay. It just looked, they just looked like they was just everywhere. Uh -huh. But I think, I hope. You know, as the season continues, they find their identity and get some leadership. But yeah. uh, they fall every possession. I, I mean, they had their head up the whole time. So shout out to NTB. I don't like. I don't look forward to blowing people out. Like that's yeah. not fun for me. You know what I mean? But they, they did. They had some players over there, and they're gonna get better. So it, they're gonna be a team to watch, like for sure. Yeah. Once they figure out what's really going on over there. Yeah, and okay. you guys are like, you know, y'all are, you know, if not Atlanta, then Bama. Y'all are Bama. So after the games, you know. Win, lose, or draw, you know, we go get food and stuff like that. Come. Come. Yeah. Why not? Um, Rebels versus Warriors, 6-0. Wow. Still another close one, though. Yes. It's very close. Mm. Very close. So what happened with that game? Were the, are the Warriors, you know, I don't know if I expected it to be. I expected it to be a good game, but I think I probably expected more scoring. Yeah. Well, I'll say this. Rebels and Warriors, it had rain. Okay, so it rained. Right. Mm-hmm. Shout out to James for being the commissioner. He scheduled a break right when it was supposed to rain. Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah. so good. I'm glad nobody got hurt. If it was wet, nobody got hurt. That's a good thing. All right, cool. So next game was Bama versus X Factor, 0 to 20. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. I mean, that's to be expected. Yeah, they're a new team. Yeah. Bama's a team. Yeah. Right? Okay. But you know what? Give X Factor their props. You know, Bama didn't beat X Factor the way that they did that game earlier. Correct. So you know, they 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 had some some kind of defense out there holding them down. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, while they still you know gel, they y'all defense was still holding up. So shouts out to X Factor defense. Mm -hmm. Um. Good all job. right. Prime time versus Storm zero to eighteen. <sighs> Primetime look yeah. good, Dwayne. Hey, okay. shout out to Mo. Mo <laughs> made a great play. Uh, it was so unexpected. She looked like me out there. Be <laughs> 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 full cheering up. <laughs> good job, Mo. All right. I mean, how do you kick and then go block? Hey, man. Hey, hands down. Hands hey. down. Good job, Mo. Good job. Kicking them block. I like it. All right. <laughs> she kicked them. I mean, it was like a... She kicked Oh, yeah, I did I mean, it was that. so quick. It oh, was like, wow. kick, boom, boom, bow. Yeah, I did see that. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it's like she right. had her eye on the person she knew she was going to get. Let me kick this ball, and I got my target. Oh, did my God. I didn't see that play, yeah. but it sounded like skills. You didn't see that play? It sounded like mad skills. I'll have to go back and watch the replay. But um, Bama versus Rebels, 6-0. Six. I was zero. shocked about that score. That could be fatigue, though. You know, Bama played four games. Yeah, they did um, play four games with that break. Yeah, they, they... Wow. 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 That's 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 on their last play before halftime. That could be fatigue. Wow. Yeah, she did. She got the touchdown. Same thing. Be like that sometimes. Yeah. But don't they didn't score six points on them. Yeah, so that means that still, like, the Rebels have some solid defense. Mm -hmm. Absolutely solid defense because, they, you know what I mean? Like, they only allow six points. Yeah. Right. So, shouts out to the Rebels for that. I can't wait to see them on Sunday and watch their defense. And then lastly, the game, uh, primetime versus NTB, 13-0. Okay. All right. Primetime looking good. All right, cool. All right. All right, so that is, uh, those are the scores. That's us talking our ish boo, which is our new segment. Talk your ish boo. Mm. Maybe I just watched too much Wild Out, but. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, all right, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, Harlan, we're going to talk about our player of the week, player of the week. For sure, Blake. Oh, man, so player of the week. 
Man, player of the week. It happened against us. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Butter. What Butter said? She, mm, nah, nah. I mean, I was on the sideline. Yeah. I just wasn't expecting it. And yeah. it was just like, uh, give me that. Yeah. Ooh. So we had a play called. Like, like uh, a basketball play. I mean, it was some yeah. basketball skills for it sure. It was. I, I mean, mean, she got air, mm -hmm. and it was like, give me that. Yeah. So Ori threw like a 20-yard pass to one of our receivers. And what's the defender's name? Kiana, right? Kiana. Kiana from DOA. I mean, listen, I've always been one to give credit, credit due. She she went up with one hand. Like, she ran the Almost like somebody it. put their hands in it. <laughs> she ran the it with one hand, brought it back. I was like, listen, she run it back, she run it back. Because I, I, my, my face was just like, was like this. you know that ugly face you make when somebody do something see, like, <laughs> like disgusting. Why did you do that to us? And uh, nobody captured it. TJ man. didn't get it. JJ I mean, somebody got it, but it was just too far. Are you man. kidding? Man, I mean, wow. that catch was stupid. Ooh. Yeah, like, yeah, she ran it back a little bit, you know, but that, yo, shout out to her. Awesome like, job. Yo, awesome and she was job. one of the players that kept the morale up, oh, too. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like, you know, definitely. when we were scoring and kind of making a run, whatever. So, shout out to her, Kiana. Again, another young, young. Player, yeah. <laughs> young chicken, young legs, right? Young legs, baby. Stuff, so like, she could be on like uh, ESPN, like that one girl. In oh yeah, oh yeah. Show. Yo, that yeah, would have been one of them. ESPN. If they had a better view, that would have been, yeah, top ten. Oh yeah. wow, top ten. All right, sure. awesome. With all this football going on, y'all, it is summertime. There's a lot of football. And butter, what advice do you give for people with kids? What do you do with your kids? What you mean? What you do to your kids? What do you do with them? Like, what are you going to do with them? You know, you got to think of summer activities and things like that. You know what I mean? I'm, so when you have your kids and or p parents in the league, we, you know, don't, you know, you want to be fundamental and have them doing things that are, you know, you just got to find things to, to, you just got to find um, things that are convenient for one. Groupon is a great tool to have <laughs> uh, if you want to take vacations with family. Um, it is, but tonight we are going to be talking about local places we can send them, and we're going to yeah, work with Tiana, the director from the Boys and Girls Club. Come on up here. Hi. Come on up here. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. All them buddies. That's right. Hey. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yes, awesome. Yeah. So welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, yes, absolutely. Yeah. So Boys and Girls Club, I know Harlem and I were talking earlier, and we both mm -hmm. said we were young. We went to Boys and Girls Club. So did I. They have it here in Atlanta. Oh, Tell us absolutely. about your organization. Yes, so I am um, Tiana Jackson. I'm the executive director at the Michael A. Grant Boys and Girls Club located in Austell, Georgia. Okay. And uh, we have 20 two locations in metro atlanta alone wow. uh inside the perimeter outside the perimeter uh as far i went to the bankhead one okay <laughs> the bankhead bounce yeah bankhead one which one is that probably wolf folk yeah i, I don't just know, know those, i don't mm -hmm. know those terms and okay. names, but, yeah. but you knew you were safe and comfortable at the boys and girls club I got, and you I, had I got time. Cattled. that's when people could still Ooh. whoop your church mm. well i Parents, we don't do that now. And I will not touch your child because I would not have a job. Um, so, but that made you a better person. That paddle. I was still bad. Okay. <laughs> so, and honestly, I would would say I really admire and appreciate what I do for a living because mm -hmm. I don't consider any child, any young person bad. Right. They're just mm -hmm. possibly misguided. Uh, just need a little direction. Um, they're not BAD. Uh, they're just active or need a little assistance and understanding as well. Yeah. So, um, but my own do. kids, they bad as I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> I was spoiled. I was the baby. Was so, so is go. Boys and Girls Club, is it year round where parents can enroll their kids or is it more summertime? Absolutely. Great question. So we are traditionally an after school program. Mm -hmm. All right. So the buses drop them off. We're open from 2.30 to 8 p.m. During the school year. Right. That's and then for parents. breaks, spring breaks, um, not really the Christmas and Thanksgiving break. We close during that time because our numbers are really low yeah. and it's just not worth it because everyone's spending That's time family. with family. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but the spring breaks, the uh, fall breaks, things of that degree, we are open 
for full days mm -hmm. to support the parents because we are here for the community. Right. Um, in reference to summertime, summer, 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 that is uh, my favorite summertime. time <laughs> to work at the Boys and Girls Club okay. because it's a blank canvas. And we, I tell my parents, if your child, when you pull up, at 6 o'clock when you pick up your child and they not sleep in that car, I'm not doing my job, mm. right? I want to make sure they have the best time ever while being safe, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then they're still getting, like you said earlier, those fundamentals, right. those basic life skills right. that they need to know, you know? Um, and so we are open normally pre-COVID. I know y'all tired of hearing that, but <laughs> normally we're open for eight weeks during the summertime, oh, but wow. this time we kind of shorten it and now we're at six weeks. Six weeks. Uh, so bad. we will be open. Boys and Girls Club of Metro Atlanta will be open for summertime. However, our numbers are significantly lower than okay. normal. Mm -hmm. So I can only get about, um, normally I have about 170 160 kids. Now I can possibly only have like 50 or 60 kids. Ooh, wow. So they need to sign up very fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it does. And so that's why I, I just communicate with my families like, hey, sign up if you really, mm -hmm. really, really need mm -hmm. the services. Right. And honestly, if you can't come five days a week, I would suggest you not sign up because I really want to be a vessel and a location where those who really need us most yeah. are sure. there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, you're yeah. so passionate. Like I can feel mm -hmm. the passion oh, yeah. is so there. I'm not new to this. I'm true to this. Like hey. I really, really, growing up in the south side of Chicago, I didn't have any of this. Well, it was there, but I didn't take advantage of it. Mm -hmm. And I always told myself the best thing I can do if I die today, I know I did my all to make sure I touch at least one individual that walk inside my club. And now I have babysitters for life. Right. Okay. Right. They they reach out to me now like, Miss Tiana, I'm, I'm, I'm no longer a club kid. Can I come over to your house and watch your kids? You show sure can. You go, <laughs> yeah, yep. I invested in you. You invest in me. Okay. Right, right. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good, it's a good feeling. So yeah. cutting down the numbers, that's one thing you guys have done. And I know you mm -hmm. probably hear parents say, so what are you guys doing? Like, what are the things y'all are doing, you know, to protect kids from COVID? What are some other things? Yes, so we have a full strategic plan and environment in reference to making sure everyone is safe. Okay. Uh, we make sure, of course, we're masked up. As soon as anyone, we don't allow outside people in. Parents can't even come in the building. Oh, okay. okay. The, only the staff and the members. That's it. So upon arriving, all staff has to uh, complete a pre uh, screening, mm -hmm. a COVID check screening, check your temperature, wash your hands, the whole nine, masked up the entire time, unless, of course, you're eating uh, six feet distance. And again, like I said, since our numbers went down a lot, um, we have these uh, program spaces that will allow the members to be separated and have that, that distance. If someone is sick, we have a quarantine room. Uh, if someone, the, the parents know it during registration, you have to pick your child up within 60 minutes. Wow. <laughs> we have everything is in place to make sure not only are the members are safe, but the staff, my staff, oh. I work for them. Yes, right. I'm the executive director. That title doesn't mean anything. I want to make sure you are safe and you enjoy what you do while you're here. So those are just a couple of things. We can go in full detail on the other uh, things that we put in place to make sure everyone's safe. You make people want to work for you. You just made me want to work for you. Right. <laughs> it's just like, it's yeah. like, she's such a good boss. Wow. Okay. So, cost. Parents who, you know, when we talk, you know, parents have different financial situations. COVID, mm -hmm. what's the cost? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start off with after school. Okay. So our after school program is as low as zero and as high as $100. Oh, wow. Is so it depends. No, for the entire school year. Mm -hmm. But mind you, let me break it down to y'all, okay? Oh, it costs $5,500. <laughs> dollars per child for us to fully function as an or as a, as a club specifically right mm -hmm. but that's why i'm out in the community raising money donors everyone contribute i even have my staff contribute back and they give a portion of their you know earnings towards back to the boys and girls club so that these parents that really need us the most can really have a safe place right so 
if you have a mayor group, it's free. If you have certain type of uh, government assistance, and we go off the base of your income and the size of your household. Okay. So based off of that, we're on a, a sliding scale. That's how we determine the cost. But it will not exceed $130, but it will not, you know, go below zero. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but 100, oh, even $100, $130 for an entire yeah. year. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. That's money well spent. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, but like, here you go. Uh, <laughs> <Take it myself. laughs> and, then, and that's why, I actually, at my club, I have a, a parent um, committee, and they help me out too. Right. So they know their community. I'm like, I need some help. We need some bottle of water. We need some hand sanitizer. Mm -hmm. They're like, whatever you want, we'll give it to you, Miss T, because that right there, psh, I got it back on my taxes anyway. Right. Right. <laughs> so that was nothing. Oh, That's the least I can mine. do. Uh, yeah, right? Um, and so, but summertime, that's slightly different because we're open longer right. hours, longer mm -hmm. days. We provide uh, breakfast, lunch, and yeah. snack. So um, with that, it... it, it don't go past two hundred dollars based on your income, and it doesn't um, go under about one hundred thirty. Now, if it's a family that's in really, really like you know hard times, yeah. we do have scholarships, mm -hmm. and um, I actually donate, and I sometimes even pay for those if because I know if you really hurt. You know, yeah. you know yeah, you us. Know. We be yeah. we be playing sometimes, <laughs> and I'm like, you just pulled up in a Porsche, <laughs> but you asking me to give you free membership for your child. <laughs> Reevaluate your priorities. Okay. That part, that yeah. part. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying her dick. Right. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah. awesome. So, <laughs> man, so parents can not only find their kids up, but people out there who, if you're in football world and you play and you just have extra money and you want to donate, how can they contact you or people contact you to donate? Absolutely. Uh, so you can contact me directly. My email is tjackson at bgcma.org. That's tjackson, boy, girl, club, metro, Atlanta, dot org. Or you can give me a call at my club, 770-819-1415. But I am located in Austell. But best believe, if you need another connection to another area, I will have that phone number in my phone, and I can provide that to you. And I also, may I add that it's not just a place where we're not a babysitting type of center, mm -hmm. right? We really do invest into our staff to make sure they are providing the proper programs and uh, uh, building those proper relationships to make sure these members have a safe place. With everything going on in the world, sometimes they don't feel comfortable going with their parents, right? Mm -hmm. I have a member that literally went home, fell asleep, got up and said, it's 6.30, I can still go to the club. Mama, can you please take me to the club? He came to the club for an hour and 20 minutes just to talk about his boyfriend because his mom doesn't know he's gay. Wow. I had to register that one. How old is he? He um he's a he's a sophomore, so he is fifteen. It's that time. Mm -hmm. He's fifteen. And I'm like, yo, it's he was time. like, Oh, can I tell you about our date, Miss Tiana? I ain't got nobody else to talk to. Come on, let's talk about it. Let's write about it. Let's journal about it. Come on. And then he's he's free. Yeah. Right. Y'all, I'm getting chills to know that the relationships I've built, you don't want to commit suicide because you know who you are, right? right. You don't want to go down that path. So it just I love it. <laughs> I absolutely. Boys and I, I Girls love Club everything. has saved a lot of people. A lot of kids. Just over. Yeah. Say, yeah. I'm how old and I'm <laughs> 45. Yeah. Boop, 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 boop. Wow. Yeah. That's so yeah. That's deep. Yeah. That's deep. We are definitely different from the YMCA. All of their, you know, no shade because I work out at the YMCA. I get it. Um, <laughs> but, you know, they have member fees, right? They, yeah. they, they have facility. You can work out. Mm -hmm. The Boys and Girls Club is different. It's just different. We primarily have our income is all about asking, 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 and looking at the results. Our members graduating, doing better in life, career readiness, understanding what to do, how to do, how to actually be a great citizen. That's what we do, and that's the foundation. Denzel Washington went to the uh -huh. Boys and Girls Club. <laughs> J-Lo, hey, Neo. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. Denzel, hey. Yep, yep. Wow. And even those who aren't. You know, that popular, right? right. Yeah. It's those, the CEOs, it's those, you know, that, that are still doing well for themselves because of a hug, because, because someone said their name. Right. I don't say, hey, sweet pea no, anymore. 
It's hey. Hey, hey butter. Hey. <gasps> She know my name. Right. She it's actually listens to me. Yeah. Right. Oh, I heard you had a birthday. Your mama had a birthday yesterday. Y'all have fun. She remembers something about me. That's what we do. I wear that hat too. Trust me. Yeah. Prices. Yeah. Wow. I, I, I got lost for a second. <laughs> the passion, seriously, the passion behind what you do, how you do it, um, you can just really feel the passion. I, I would feel safe leaving my kid with you, and I yeah. think that's so important for people like watching, thinking about taking their kids to. Yeah. Uh, they might try to drive them to Hostel just to be with you. Right. <laughs> right. We, we, you know, and that's fine. And if I may take y'all down memory lane, and then I'm gonna be quiet. You know, what I'm talking about. But it was a parent <laughs> that I swear she worked nights. And she cussed me clean out via email and phone and said, my son came home and he had these scratches and they beating him up. How dare you be an executive director and you don't do nothing about it. I mean, went in on me. Mm. And I said, I hear where you're coming from. May we please set up a meeting face to face. Mm. When she walked out, she was crying and gave me a hug and said, I didn't even know who you were. I feel so safe with everything. A week later, she had a heart attack, mm. and her son was still at my club. And when I tell you, the Uber uh, driver called me and said, hey, this person, she told me to call you, but she said that she know her child is safe. It's midnight, <laughs> and I'm with her, and I took him all the way to the hospital with his mother, wow. and she couldn't even speak, right? Wow. That's what, you know what I'm saying? That's what why I do what I do, because she... She didn't know. People always just assume, ah, and they believe the, the child, too, oh, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Without hearing the full story. Oh, yeah. It totally changed her perspective on just, like, life and how you approach people and how you treat people, mm -hmm. especially those that you, kids in the, their care, right? Um, and it just it, it speaks volumes where you just really get to know somebody. Yeah. Get to see. Don't, don't, you know, she hadn't even met me before. And now she's like, she's like, I'm forever. Whatever you need. I got your back like a sweater. <laughs> That's what wow. Yeah. Well, Tiana, I, this is probably the most chilling interview we've probably ever had. I'm mm. like, seriously. Um, I want to thank you so much for coming on. Absolutely. Um, if you could please give people contact information one more time and then we'll let you go. Yeah. Because uh, we want to make sure we get it out there, spread it around for all the parents that need it. And remember, y'all, it's only 50 spots. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get it yeah. in. So that's, yeah. the, that's the part. So how can they contact you again if you need one of those 50 spots? Yeah, absolutely. So Tiana Jackson, tjackson at bgcma.org. I work very well via email. Or you can even call. Uh, my membership clerk is very accessible, 770-819-1415. And uh, just let me know if you really need it, like for real. I got you back like a sweater. Oh, thank you, Tia. And her last name, Jackson. That's my family name. So, Miss mm -hmm. Jackson. Strong. Miss Jackson. Not with the kid. I swear, y'all, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I love kids. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, thank you so much again. And we, we look forward to just, like, following up with you and everything like that. Absolutely. Thank right. y'all. Thank, thank you. you. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. All great. right. That was so good. I, I mean, you could just feel how mm -hmm. when somebody is passionate about their career and when you, you know you love it when you give them back your money, like your paycheck to put into it. But you want your kids to be safe. You know, you people do. are so, like, can't trust people, period, whether it's with your child, your your your, your parents that are elderly and can't do for themselves. Like, it's, it's hard. To tr that trust is real, man. It is. It's very real. So, um, again, y'all, again, y'all, I just want to reiterate this again. She said there's only 50 spots. That's going to, when you think about all the kids in Metro Atlanta, some people come in there with five kids. That's five of the 50 spots right there. Ooh. So it's not 50 families. Oh, it's 50 spots. So, mm. you know what I mean? Just putting that in perspective. That's going to go quick because five kids, three kids, four kids. Is... So, anyway, um, not anyway, but just Get your kids in there, please. All right. Um, the next that we're going to go into, I'm kind of feeling emotional right now after that. Uh -huh. Let me try to get my energy back up. Because kids are, kids are, yeah. kids the are future. soft my heart. What? Kids are the future. They are. They're the future. And um, they just soften my heart. Like when you talk about kids and their safety, man, and some, sometimes people do things to kids that are happy. Oh, yeah. You're the protector. Oh, yeah. you're, you're the last resort. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go into a segment called The People. Versus the podcast chicks. Mm, 
let's go. Let's now, what go. We <laughs> no, I'm like, so, I'm just kidding. you know, this week's games are coming up, and time. we put a poll up. I we mean. wanted to see what you guys think oh, versus man. what we think. So, who's going to win this week's game? So, all right, let's go. All right, so I'm not going to show them y'all's yeah. results yet. But, uh, all right, so when it comes to Warriors versus Prime Time, who you got, Butter? Wow. Um... We first for time, butter. I'm probably going to have to go with prime time. <laughs> All right, butter, say prime time. Who are you saying? Prime time. Prime time. All right, yeah. the people, 78% of the people said prime time, 22% said the Warriors. Storm versus Rebels. Who you got? Harlem. Rebels. Rebels. All right, who be, butter? Rebels. All right, 62% said Rebels. 38% said the Storm. Prime time versus DOA. Game <laughs> of the week this week. And it was a very tight mm. break, um, vote from the people. Who you got, Harlem? That's close. Uh, I'm, I'm going to take prime time, though. I'm okay. I'm going to take prime time. Butter? I think just by a little oh. bit. Maybe like one touchdown. Or maybe a field goal or something. Yeah, it's going to be um, quickness against power in that game. So um, prime time with the power. DOA with the quickness. Mm -hmm. Probably have to go with prime time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, y'all are not in line with the people. The people said DOA 52%, 48% prime time. That's mm. close, man. Yeah. It was 50-50 yeah. for a long time. I kept mm. looking at it like, okay. Yeah. Um, Storm versus the Tigers. Who you got, Butter? Tigers. Tigers. Tigers, All right. The people yeah. said 80% Tigers, 20% Storm. Rebels versus DOA. Who you got, Harlem? Oh. I, probably the Rebels, yeah. Right. It'd be a close one, though. I think that's a close one, though. It is. It's our second game of the week. We couldn't just pick one, <laughs> yeah, y'all. This one was, a good one, so we had to take this one, too. Who you got, Butter? Wow. Uh, I'm probably going to go with the Rebels. And you guys, you podcast chicks, podcast chicks are not in line with the people. Yeah. <laughs> 50%, 56 of the people said that DOA is going to win that game. Forty four percent said the Rebels. So very close game of the week. We're definitely Trust gonna be me, it's close. You guys are. That's going to be a great. It is going to be a great, great game. game. What time is that game? That's you know eleven. Eleven o'clock. Cannot wait to see that. All right, Warriors versus the Tigers. Who you got, Butter? Tigers. Tigers. All right, eighty percent of the people said Tigers, twenty percent said Warriors. Stallions versus X Factor. Who you got, Harlem? Stallions. All right, yeah. butter. Oh, no, of course, I'm going with the Stallions. All right, you guys are not in line with the people. <laughs> I just like. Oh, no. right. hey, hey, hey. I got Cole Red. Oh, what? Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm cheering for Cole Butter, Red. who you got? <laughs> she threw me off with that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, the people said 91% APOC, 9% Cole Red. People right. <laughs> all right. Uh, science versus Arsenal. Who you got, Harlem? Oh, that's going to be a... That's going to be a... Is that not game of the week, too? Is that not the I third? I should have been. Uh, we could have picked three. We oh. picked... We, I mean, I mean, we have to... That, that, that's going to be a three. good one. That's a good um, break. I'll put a whole star about that one. Who did you have in the first game of the week? So we have Primetime versus DOA. Oh, that's going to be a good one, though. Primetime versus DOA is going to be a good one. We picked three of them. That's going to be a good one. Rebels versus DOA. That's going to be a good one. Science versus x Factor. That's going to be a good one. But I mean, this one, this is a good one. So who is it we got? Who we got? So, Stallions and Arsenal? Stallions versus Arsenal. What time is that game? That's at 2. That's at 2 o'clock. You going to be there? That's at 2. I'm going to be there that one. Um, I, I'm going to... I'm gonna go with the Stallions though. That it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a low scoring game. I think. I think they both. That's gonna that be both ways. Back and forth, yeah. I'm gonna go with the Stallions though. So you better show me something. Buddy, but who you going something. with? Well, never mind. Grease of knees that day. <laughs> I'm going with myself. You know what I mean? I gotta face up against somebody like Rock. Um, on that line. Yeah. I mean, hey, I gotta put my hands on them. Hey. I'm, just, I'm just being real. I'm gonna have to put my hands on them. Okay. okay. Well, the people's verdict is in, and the people said. 49% Arsenal, 51% Stallions. So it's a very close vote. Very, that's going to be a good one. Yes. And yes. Then, that's close, though. That's good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this next I love it. game is going to be extremely, extremely good, too. Two new teams, Code Red versus X Factor. Oh. So that's going to be a really good one, too. It's so yeah. many good ones. I got X Factor. Just X -Factor. by a little bit, though, but that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. I'm going to rock a Code Red on 
on now. When I have faith and I feel like they're going to reboost their confidence because they faced some tough teams this past mm -hmm. Sunday. So the only thing they can do from that is bounce back and bounce up. So I'm going to go code red on that one. So um, uh, let's see. I, but I want to say Butter, something right quick. Go ahead. I have one suggestion for code red. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This whole running man in place motion thing that they do. <laughs> What no, is I'm that? being serious. This is, this is a, this is a football observation. Yeah, we talked about that. Uh -huh. ago. This motion thing that Cold Red does, I'm going to need y'all to revamp that. I, no, I'm just being serious. Mm -hmm. Either put you a running back back there already. That whole motion thing is not quick enough. It's easy to spot. You always try to run that two-man emotion thing, which gets y'all in trouble with that as well, as it's too long. It's too long. I need y'all to be quicker on that, and y'all may get some better uh, possessions and move that ball quicker up field. So, just a suggestion, just an honest observation. You kidding? Okay, cool. Um, and then respect, respect, Will. Yeah, yeah, okay. APOC versus Arsenal. You said it's going to be what? Oh, whoa, wait a minute, Dwayne. You said it's going to be a good game, Dwayne? Wait a minute, Dwayne. Yeah. I felt like, like she swung a little bit. No, nah, I ain't swear. I'm just saying, y'all, okay. I'm going to A-pop. I'm just going to like that, but it well, ain't like no game of the week or nothing. No, it's not a game of the week. Shout out to Arsenal, though. I like the Arsenal. I like Arsenal. I got a couple players I play basketball with, but it's not going to be a good game. They're a veteran team, so, you know, I expect them to, hey, boom, and white chocolate. When we had them, they, they're they like a combo that is like they mesh so well. It's like boom is always there. If if chocolate is, is quarterbacking, boom is always where she's supposed to be when chocolate throws that ball. They're just a great company. They're best friends. They are really like joining at the hip. It's crazy. And they have just this great Kim dynamic. Kim. It's unbelievable. So, uh, shout out to Chop and uh, Boom. But I, I'm going to go with APOP. <laughs> you did all that to go APOP. <laughs> 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 I'm going to Arsenal. I just like those girls. You? And I played with them one time. So, I know they're a heart. And I know that after last week, <laughs> Coach Craig will do a good bounce back. I'm excited. And I'm excited to see. <laughs> <laughs> Man, man, come man. on, Chris. Man, they might struggle with DOA. They might have a trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all crazy. <laughs> All right, next we're going to go into um, Women's Health with Harlem. Yeah, so Yay. listen, my message is short this week, ladies. Listen to your body, right? It's a lot of people who try to fight through injuries. Y'all better, <laughs> including myself, this weekend, my knee was swollen. I'm just trying to go through the motion, went to the doctor, had all this fluid around both knees. So I'm like, Harlem, you, you know, got to chill. it's the first thing so, that go on us, right? The knees. And the I've knees never is, been injured. So I'm like, yo, I really need to start. It's built. It's just the knees go first. Yeah, and I be trying to do the Iverson on the field. If you've been out there and it's, just, you know, 36 years doing that, you know, I just got to make sure I take care of my knees. But listen, ladies, listen to your body. Like, if you need to take a break from a down, from a game, take care of your health. Because at the end of the day, the game going to be here. You know what I mean? Listen to your body. Take care of it and do what you need to do. So I have not been in All practice. Right. I have not been in <laughs> I have been resting this week because I have to play on Sunday. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes oh. you got to take it easy. I know. No training. You know, with the games, we get excited about it. But, I mean, if something feeling off, go get it checked out, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Awesome. All right, y'all. We're just going to go to some closing announcements real quick. Um, Lynn Lewis. Um, we gonna see what we gonna see at Lynn Lewis. How we gonna see Lynn, Lynn Lewis? Uh, Up to the team. Yeah. All right. So, uh, undecided. so registration yeah. is still open. So, if your team too is undecided, registration is still open. Lynn Lewis is gonna be um, April 30th through May 2nd, and that's gonna be in Palm Coast, Florida. Um, Virginia Beach Invitational is June 19th through the 20th. So, make sure you get registered for that. Um, Weekend Warriors in Orlando, July 10th through the 11th. Make sure you guys get registered for that. Mm -hmm. And then don't forget about the Sanction Tournament, which is the Sanction Satellite Event. That's May 29th through the 30th in New York. Um, and remember, mm -hmm. this is one of the roads to the $220,000 tournament Ooh, for change. women. So if your team could change. use 220, I don't even know mm -hmm. how the team would divide that up because I'm going to mm -hmm. be like, I need like 10. Can we all get 10? Yeah. Let's cut down our roster. <laughs> <laughs> 
Absolutely. Um, all right. And then don't forget, too, you know, that eight women contact draft um, that's coming up. So make sure you guys get signed up for that where the coaches draft. Right. Oh, where yeah. Where all the coaches are picking and things like that. So these two are definitely going to be in there. So you'll see them on the field. Me, I'm still undecided. Oh, All right. oh, sure. You should definitely do it. I don't want to Yeah, she don't want that contact. Yeah. I ain't scared of contact. I got my championship in contact. I know. Uh, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, yeah, I got my one, man. I'm like, I'm coming in. I'm in hot.